Hey all, this is just again and uh, showing off the next kit I'm going to build. And that will be the GNX U02X Masurao. It's a 1 to 144 scale uh, model, uh, high grade Gundam 0055. Uh, yeah, this is one of those kits. When I saw it, or at least the original base form, I was like, meh, gonna skip on it. Um, like Sakus and such. Mm, a form which I don't really think too interesting. But when I saw this variation, I was like, gotta have, gotta have. Uh, this is a samurai version. At least uh, it shows up as some kind of samurai and I really dig it uh, let's see what the box shows us uh, it shows some of the posing uh, the various joints uh, some kind of weapon thingy which you can put between his horns extreme posability uh, very famous uh, for uh, Apparently this pose, I guess, because it's displayed a lot for this guy. Um, he has multiple hands, open hands, closed hands. Uh, I do dig these uh, orange bean katana sabers. Uh, something more about some of the gimmicks in him, I'm not sure about all of them does come with a display stand which I am very glad for because this is a very dynamic kit uh, the box art is quite nice uh, I'm not sure if that's painted or unpainted but does looks imp does look impressive let's see he is 20.4 meters tall not sure if it's till here or till there, but who knows? 61.5 tons. Yeah, overall, just this very stilt, stilted leg uh, for, for the original. Didn't like, but just the combination of everything added colors and that helmet. Yeah, I really do dig this version. A bit on the pilot named Mr. Bushido uh -huh. Uh -huh. sure 1500 yens uh, not too expensive and uh, I got it for clearance I think about 900 yen if I'm not mistaken or 970 let's see what does it bring to us just a very few black polycaps a few white parts some red uh, you can see the hands here I do like the spiked gauntlet type uh, effects this, that's given I really do like it uh, that weapon thingy for the horns is completely transparent so you can pick your color um, I'm not sure. I don't have any actual transparent uh, paint, so I'm not sure if I'll paint it up or even use it anyway. So, <clears throat> oh. orange katanas, looking fairly good. More hands, more black. Horns seem to be articulate. Oh well. Uh, some grey bits, more polycaps. Lots of dar dark stuff. Only two stickers. Lots more of black stuff. Even more gauntlet stuff. Oh, he has at least five hands so far. 
Some more grey stuff, uh, primarily for joints and the feet, as far as I can tell. And the base display and uh, some tubing. For what, I'm not really sure. Let's look at the booklet. Yeah. Mm. The box art, but then done with the actual kit itself. Oh, nice. But not as prominent those uh, big eyes. Oh well. Ah, uh, that's where the tube goes. Just a ponytail? Oh well. Uh, oh, the uh, yeah. I had the idea they were the same size, but here it shows us if they're different size. Oh well. No. A bit more on the model. How to pose it? How to use? Various bits. Uh, you can hide the handles on the inside of these skirts. Instructions plenty. It seems some of the parts are actually photographed instead of just hand drawn. That's new for me. Anyway, and this is going to be a very fun kit to build for me. I really like the design, so uh, better get cracking with getting this one built. Thank you all for watching.